And starting off, we're going to go ahead and hit on the FaceTime notification issues. This basically means that sometimes your notifications will not successfully go through on your iPhone. So in order to fix this, what you want to do is you want to make sure, first of all, that our phone is actually not on do not disturb mode. Sometimes if you have this little toggle enabled, your notifications will actually just not come through. Now this is a very common thing. It happens all the time. So you want to go ahead and make sure your do not disturb mode is on. Now let's say do not disturb mode isn't on and you know, you're still not receiving any notifications of FaceTime. But what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our settings app. We want to scroll down into FaceTime, which is all the way down here. As you can see, FaceTime under messages, we want to click on there. We want to make sure FaceTime is enabled. If, if FaceTime is disabled, then obviously we're not going to get any notifications of it because it's just not going to work. So you want to go ahead and make sure your FaceTime activation is enabled. You want to make sure this is on. And finally, what you want to do if your notifications are still not working, you want to go into your notifications panel, which is right here. You want to go ahead and click there. And what you want to do next is you want to scroll down until you find FaceTime, which is right here. So you want to go ahead and click on FaceTime. And once you hear what you want to do is you want to make sure that very top section is enabled. So you want to make sure that allow notifications at first toggle is actually green. If it's not green or if it's something else, then obviously it's not going to work. So you want to make sure this little toggle is enabled and the rest of these things will pretty much fall into place right after that. So at this point, you're pretty much already done. I would recommend checking those notifications again, but your FaceTime notifications should be working as of this point. So if you're still running into issues, I'd recommend updating your phone and pretty much going out through there.